Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do a little comparison between Plesk and cPanel. So the uh, goal or the objective from this comparison is to show you what is going to be the best and suited hosting platform that will be good for you. So I'm going to introduce you to the hosting panels. So this is uh, going to be Plesk and this is a cPanel. And for those who doesn't know what is a hosting panel, a hosting panel is going to be a control panel in a web-based interface that allows users to manage servers, domains, websites, databases, emails, and other hosting features without needing deep technical knowledge. So we are going to give here a more, uh, let's say, uh, resembling platforms like GoDaddy, for example, we have GoDaddy for that. Also, we have Hostinger for those who doesn't know or don't have an idea. Hostinger also, and I think that we have also Namecheap for buying domains and managing them. So, aside from that, um, why are we going to use uh, cPanel or Plesk? Basically, cPanel and Plesk are two of the most widely used hosting control panels. Each one of them will come with its own strength and also ideal use cases. So uh, here we are going to talk about uh, the uh, user interface and also the ease of use of uh, both of the platforms. Let's uh, begin with the Plesk. So Plesk is going to be a modern, clean and intuitive interface. So it is going to have uh, features that a sidebar menu for easy navigation. So you are going to have your, your free trial, then you are going to get something like this. This is going to be the sidebar. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is the sidebar menu. It is going to give you a easy process and also a easy navigation for you. It is going to be more user friendly for beginners. So if you are going to be a beginner, it is going to be the uh, go to platform or panel to use. Also, uh, it is going to be supporting both Windows and Linux. So if you're going to our, uh, or you have a Windows or Linux operating system, you're going to be more than welcome to use Plesk. But in the other side, cPanel is going to be having a classic design and it is going to be widely used in Linux environments. So it is going to be avoided on the Windows side. It is going to be using the WHM, which is going to be uh, known for web host manager for server level management. And it is going to be used by the advanced users. So it is not going to be a, a beginner friendly platform because it is going to be very flexible for only advanced users. So they are going to be uh, in the field of the panels with a lot of experience and they are going to see a certain flexibility that the beginners will not see. Also, it is going to have a inconvenient plan that is going to be a lack of Windows support. So in this round, we are going to give the uh, win or the uh, prize for Plesk because it is going to have a better UI. Also, it is going to be a beginner friendly. And if something is uh, beginner friendly, we are going to welcome it well. So for the OS compatibility, I'm going to uh, tell you here that uh, for a Plesk, it is going to be uh, for both, uh, not only both, but it is going to be on the Windows and the Linux. And for the cPanel, it is not going to be supported on the uh, Windows OS but it is going to be most likely used for Linux. So here, if you need a Windows hosting, Plesk is going to be the only option for you. And if you are going to use Linux and you're a pro on Linux, which is going to be good for you, because that is going to be a multiple option for you, you can go ahead and use Plesk and also cPanel uh, here. But cPanel is going to be more widely used with the uh, Linux users. Now, let's talk about the security features. So let's begin with Plex. As always, it has a built in firewall and also fail to ban support. It has a secure FTP access, an automatic SSL slash TLS certificate management, and also it has extensions for advanced security. So if you're going to have some extensions for advanced security, it is going to be 
uh, very welcomed in this uh, specific platform you're going to have everything in this specific uh, account that you're going to create for the cpanel security it is going to be supporting uh, the csf or the config server security and firewall it has a two-factor or 2fa authentication it has the immunify 360 for malwares and protections because uh, this is going to be a um, paid feature it is going to be considered a premium feature and also it has a manual ssl setup so you're going to have the auto SL, ssl also available if you want so for the security we are going to have the plesk another time in here built in because we have a built-in security tools easier ssl management uh, compared to the uh, C panel. Now, let's talk about the uh, features and the functionalities. So, Plesk supports more technologies like Docker, Node.js, or Node.js, or JavaScript, and also MSSQL. So, in the C panel, it is going to be lacking the multi server supports. And for the WordPress hosting, Plesk is going to be the uh, best um wordpress let's say um uh, supporter because it has uh, the wordpress toolkit uh, and it is going to be better than cpanel wordpress manager so if you are going to use uh, wordpress which is going to be a spreadly wide use a uh, platform for creating websites like you can see in here wordpress you're going to be um, welcome in the plesk panel to use it because they have the uh, toolkit which is going to be better for the use. Now, let's talk about the performance and the resource usage. For Plesk, it is going to be optimized for both Windows and Linux, more lightweight than cPanel, and it is also going to be better resource management. And for the cPanel, it is going to be optimized basically or obviously for Linux, but heavier on resources. It is going to be requiring manual optimization for best performance. So that is going to be another point for Plesk for the flexibility and also for the development of technology. Now we are going to uh, talk about the pricing and the licensing of the two platforms. So basically the two platforms has an entry level, mid level and high tier plan or high level plan. So for the Plesk, it is going to be more affordable for small users single so within the single server hosting. cPanel is going to be charging per account, so it is going to be um, here something expensive. And also it is going to be uh, um, expensive for the resellers if you are going to resell an account or a specific, uh, let's say here, um, um, or access to this specific platform. And the um, Plesk is going to be offering a flat rate for the mains. So it is going to be making it uh, cost effective for hosting multiple sites and etc. And the, so here the Plesk also is going to be getting a point for the pricing because it has cheaping pricing compared to the C panel. So we are going to see here the two, let's say here platform pricing. We're going to do a comparison. We have $32 per month for up to five accounts. Here we have, as you can see, uh, $14 per month. So we are going to have 10 domains, site tip, polar, WP or WordPress toolkit, SE, and etc. Here we have the 60 or 46 uh, per month and etc. So basically, as you can see here, we are going to have only one account for $26 to uh, the tens or fourteens dollars that is going to be given in here so now let's talk about the uh, support and or the customer support and the community so both of the platforms are going to be very great and also will uh, offer strong support uh, on the 24-7 uh, support the phone support both has oh, both platforms has the phone support the community forums the both of the platforms has them for documentation it is going to be detailed on the plesk in the meanwhile it is going to be very extensive on the cpanel so 
Uh, here, cPanel is going to be uh, having a larger user community due to its long history in the Linux e ecosystem. So it is going to be very effective. Now, the winner in this specific area is going to be uh, cPanel because it has a larger community support, of course. Now, uh, who should use one of the platform or which is going to be the user of these platforms? So basically, you're going to use, uh, for example, or the use case of the Windows hosting, you're going to get Plisk. For the Linux hosting, you can go ahead and have both. But for the beginner-friendly UI, basically, you're going to have here a, uh, the Plisk. This is going to be a little conclusion about what is going to be the case of using one of the platforms. Now, uh, for the advanced customization, basically, we're going to use cPanel because it has more uh, Linux friendly system and also it is going to be a more, let's say, uh, featured or, or let's say, um, trust with features. And here for the WordPress hosting, you're going to use Plesk. And if you are going to use multi-server management, you're going to use also Plesk. So here we are going to a little conclusion about the two panels. If you're going to need Windows hosting, go ahead with Plex because C panel is not going to be an option for you. If you are going to want a modern user friendly experience, Plex also it is going to be the better option for you. If you are going to be a reseller with many accounts, C panel might be the better fit. If you are going to be a WordPress developer, Plesk provides better tools for the uh, WordPress. So here it is going to be the choice for you. Basically, if I am going to be the uh, user, I'm going to use Plex because obviously I'm using Windows. And that means that I'm going to be more flexible with Windows than with uh, the Linux. And the choice is going to be for you. Basically, that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon on the next one.